Hello there, Itru here. Today's video is going to be a quick look back at the palace. With its buffs that can be applied, which are very powerful, has the High Life DLC changed anything? Now, previously in the palace, in the Department of Labor, it is a hot topic between which of the policies do you utilize? The 50% productivity from electricity, or do you go for the extra slot in the trade unions? Now, it does depend on your island on what production it can boost out different things from different items. Some are going to be beneficial from the trade union slot. Some are going to be more useful from pure electricity. However, the High Life brings in another contender. And that is extra goods from heavy factories. So if we have a look here, affects all heavy industries in the range connected to trade unions. And you can get extra goods. Now that does not mean that each of your heavy industries buildings are going to proc all of those. How it works is which of the heavy industry buildings it is, it will proc the associated material. Like a steelworks, something to do with steel, will actually proc steel. However, steel beams, if you're making steel beams, you'll be procking every third cycle steel, be steel beams for free. And again, that goes same for the elevators and biscuits and typewriters. Any of the uh, associated production, you're going to be procking every third cycle one item for free. So is this better than the electricity or the trade union slots? We'll have a look at it now. So the first thing you're probably asking, so what exactly are the heavy industry buildings again? The easiest way to understand which of the heavy industry buildings are the ones that are producing pollution and contributing to native attractiveness are heavy industries. And the easy way to check that is to go back and check my video that I did in regards to negative attractiveness. Well, TLDR, anything that is saying negative attractiveness when you actually highlight the building, like there, or if the actual building, when you actually have it placed down, is producing black smoke, not white or grey smoke, black smoke, it is producing pollution and contributing to being a heavy industries. So that's going to be anything to do with steelworks, brassworks, the cab lines and stuff like that, and all these steelworks over here. Now if we have a look at the buildings over here, which are going to be some of the tourism stuff, and the high life items over here, we have an assembly line producing black smoke. We have our artisan workshop which is grey smoke or white smoke not going to be contributing to pollution so it's not heavy industries unlike the assembly line and the chemical plants as well so out of the season 3 buildings the ones that are producing heavy industry items are the chemical and the assembly line so how does that equate to actually how much we're going to be getting an important thing to remember here Extra goods don't actually require any workforce to do, and they don't require any extra inputs of items. They are just propped magically out of thin air. Now, this island here is more of a cultural and population center. So the actual number of production buildings I have over here is fairly limited for heavy industries. So the numbers over here are not going to be particularly high. So if we have a look at the palace, what we're currently running at the moment, we are utilizing 50% productivity. I have made note of how much I'm actually making in numbers. If I switch this over to the heavy goods factories, and then if we want to see exactly which buildings are contributing to this, if we put our mouse over this here, it'll highlight any of the buildings that are classified as heavy industry in the dark green or turquoise color and as you can see there aren't that many we have a few over here this is the biggest cluster over here the rest of the island is not particularly heavy in heavy industry so we're not going to be utilizing this at all whereas the electricity is going to be contributing to everything production wise everywhere however if we are just looking at the tourism and the industrial stuff that we're going to be utilizing for the 
actual expansion. We can check our numbers now. So, just to reiterate, we are utilizing heavy goods. We're going to control and Q. The first one we'll have a quick look at is the steel. Now, utilizing the heavy goods, we are producing 136 tons. Whereas utilizing the plus 50% electricity, I was actually producing before 116 tons. That's 20 tons of free steel that we've produced. Again, in the steel beams, we're producing 50 at the moment. Before, with just the plus 50% productivity from electricity, we were utilizing and producing 44 tons. So that's six tons extra. Another useful one and interesting one is the coal. So if we have a look at the coal here, I am producing 70 tons of coal, and that is through the coal mines. And before, I was producing 78 tons. Now this one's a different one, as the coal mines aren't classified as heavy industry, but they will get a boost from the actual electricity. So I was getting from the mining more coal utilizing the other policy. However, if I was utilizing charcoal kilns, then we could be getting even more goods and coal from there because they are technically classified as pollution buildings and would actually contribute as heavy industries. So if you were actually using charcoal kilns rather than mines, you'd be getting extra goods there. The brass, I'm not particularly producing much brass on this island. Again, that would be brass from anything that is producing brass. That could be anything in regards to like the gramophones or the cab line productions or the steam engines. At the moment, I am producing seven tons previously and I was producing six tons. Now, oil is another one that is technically classified as pollution. So that is going to be classified as heavy industries. We are producing 94 tons now. And previously, I was producing 84 tons. So there we go. That's 10 tons of oil for free with no extra production down at all for free. Now, if we have a look at the tourism and the high life items, this is going to be the more interesting one. As these are, if you're going into the high life, you're going to need a lot more production of these sorts of goods. So the first thing we'll have a look at is, if we can find them, the elevators. Now remember, elevators are extremely useful for a couple of different reasons. One upgrading and the other one is trading in the network. I'm producing 105 tons at the moment, whereas previously with electricity, I was producing 86 tons. That's a big difference in the heavy industry policy here. Now the typewriters, I'm producing 35 now. Previously with electricity, I was producing 32 tons. Another big upkick was the biscuits here, producing 156 tons, whereas before, it was 128 tons. Remembering this is all free goods that you could be utilizing. So you had an island that was dedicated to just these sorts of goods and you're utilizing extra free goods as a policy on the island. You could be saving a lot of production and a lot of input items here and saving yourself a lot of money and time. Another one is the lacquer here. 159 tons, whereas with the electricity policy, I was producing 139 tons. There's 20 tons of lacquer. And again, this isn't just the tourism items. It is the, sorry, it isn't just the high life items. It is also affecting the tourism stuff as well. So if we head back over to here, it is also affecting the shampoo. I'm doing eight tons now. And previously I was doing seven. The lemonade, 24 tons. I was producing 21 tons with electricity. And souvenirs, 38. Previously, it was 33 tons. So if you have this policy utilized on your islands that are using heavy industries, it is technically the best policy in the palace, palace to actually use these days. So you have even more options and even more input on the arguments of what is the best policy from the palace. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, do appreciate any likes on the videos and any subscriptions to the channel. And comment down below if there's another video you'd like me to cover off next. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one.